Hi everyone. Well, it's been a while. I'm really sorry about that. I think people know by now, and if not, we've been a little bit out of action here on the Small Holding um, for a couple of reasons. Just really, really busy over the summer and obviously harvesting and getting preserved, getting everything on the shelves that we can or in the freezers, um, also working full time. Um, but then we've been hit with COVID, um, so it's literally wiped our family out. Well, at least Stephen and I, the kids both have it, but thankfully haven't been wiped out. So I am, this is the first day that I felt well enough to show my face, to um, get a shower, wash my hair, well, no, I've been showering, but you know, to, to, to get out there a little bit. So I've come out into the greenhouse and oh my goodness me. <coughs> so this is this is one of the things, excuse me. Um, what a mess. So things are just suffering. So we've got the last of the tomatoes to get. I'm here by this fantastic, humongous tomato tree, which you've heard me talk about a few times. Still hasn't produced any fruit. But I love how big it is and the fact that it just keeps on growing despite everything. We've got some aubergines and things that are ready to harvest too. I'm gonna have to stand up because my legs and my arms are... Hang on. So we've got some um, tomatoes, aubergines, some peppers. Um, I have been able to get one or two whilst we've been bad. Uh, we've just not been up to kind of be moving around and things like that. So anyway. On the mend, that's all that matters, and so much to catch up on. I actually still have a few potatoes in the ground down the bottom. We've cleared everything, the tomatoes, the outdoor tomatoes that were there, cleared all of them out, um, used what we could, because they got struck by blight as well. Thankfully, the potatoes seemed to be okay. One or two seemed to have got damaged, so got rid of those guys, but I chopped all the tops off and harvested a load. We must have had I've got about 100 kilos of potatoes, but there's actually still a few under the ground um, that were due to get done the weekend um, when we, I think was it the weekend before? Anyway, they didn't get done. They were st they're were still under the ground um, and they're actually looking okay. So I've got a few more that I need to get up when I've got the energy to, which is not today. Um, a few more peppers have been, these guys here, this kind. So things haven't been getting watered and haven't had the attention that they deserve while we've been ill. But um, I think they're gonna forgive us. They seem okay in some respects. It's time to tidy out the greenhouse anyway. So we're gonna get in the last of the red tomatoes um, and any of the other ones that are left green we'll probably just bring in to ripen inside. And then I will cut down all the foliage, chop it up, get it onto the compost down the bottom there. And then it's the kind of the clear out for the winter in the um, greenhouse. Need to do the same in the polytunnel, which has been equally neglected. Um, and at the back here, I'm not even going in there because it's just a disgrace. Um, we're going to change things up for next year. So this year has taught me a lot about how I want to grow and I don't really want to do um, because of the volume that I'm working with. Um, if I was only doing a couple of pots, I would just do a couple of pots but because I'm trying to do as much as possible I'm we're going to change that back greenhouse so that it's got um that we'll be building no we won't we'll be planted into the ground so well into raised beds in there so that's a winter job that Steve's going to be getting on with he's busy doing the kitchen at the moment so I'm not going to be asking him about that it's, it, as long as it's done before the next growing season and that's totally fine um a lot of things are starting to go to to bed for, for over the winter um, so we've got quite a lot to do with the the beds or I've got quite a lot to do with the beds out here I'm going to be getting some mulch I've got some winter brassicas in as well though um, I've missed a few things with being ill but the chickens will be totally fine with that and harvested all of the carrots so I did start a video which didn't get finished um, of how I'm storing them but basically what I'm doing is the, the good carrots that look like they'll be okay for storing so next year actually i want to concentrate on making sure we get some really good storage carrots because these were quite because i've planted them too close sowed them too close together um they're not as big as i would want them to and really you want to be storing the big ones because the smaller ones will dry out quicker and go bendy and you know not as nice anyway the ones the big ones that i've got are the reasonable size ones that i've got I found some barrels that we use for animal feed. Sorry if you're wobbling all over, by the way, but my arms are aching. <laughs> um, 
I've got some barrels that I use for animal feed and I've just literally laid the big ones in compost within the barrels because apparently that the compost is quite moist um, with a lid on, a little bit of airflow. Um, but yeah, I think that, that they should be okay from what I've read and what I've researched and been laid on the settee for that long. Um, so that's interesting. I see, just so poorly. Anyway, so yeah, the carrots are in, most of the potatoes are in. I've got some green veg left still in the garden, which we can use as soon as I'm feeling up to kind of, um, <coughs> as soon as I'm feeling up to picking and, you know, getting into cooking again. It's killing me. I've been out of action for, I haven't cooked since Wednesday night and it is Wednesday night or week, which is so unheard of for me. I mean, I do all of this because I love to provide nutritious food for us and for the family and we have just i mean we're so lucky that we were prepared you know we've had everything in that we could possibly need so i'm so pleased about that we freeze milk we had medications in um tissues is the one thing that i did run out of but that's okay we got we got some more delivered in a, a bit of a grocery um delivery but yeah it's it, being prepared has helped so much and growing your own food and having as much of it harvested and ready to use has really really helped so it's just given me the motivation for when i do have the energy again um to make sure that we continue and you know grow as much as we can because one year might not be as good as another year so what i'm going to be doing is researching what i can be getting in the ground in october i'll be bringing that video to you very soon get all of the rest of these tomatoes in um i've got hundreds of tomatoes in the freezer um just because i haven't been able to get them processed literally just frozen them whole they'll be absolutely fine and they'll skin really easy after being in the freezer a few aubergines as i say that i want to get done um oh onions garlics shallots so onions garlic and shallots um i've had some of my garlic delivery arrive which is from the garlic farm and i've got the rest of it coming from dt brown and i love those guys so um i've got i'll go through those varieties very soon as well with what we've got and why i've picked them and i think i'm going to be getting those in down the bottom plot there um so i've been preparing where i've cleared out the tomatoes i've been preparing um in kind of like 10 minute spurts i'm saying preparing we've cleared the tomatoes and that's it there's nothing prepared yet i'm going to prepare by putting the compost bags um that we've got spare and just planting into that so i'm hoping that that should be okay um, and, and leaving those to overwinter down there. Might throw a few broad beans in next month. Anyway, I'm going to do my research, get a list on now that I'm feeling more like getting back to it. But I just wanted to pop on, say hi, let you know that we're still still here, still doing this. It's just on pause at the minute. Um, and let me know what you guys are up to. I would love to, to know, get the inspiration. What's everybody else doing? What's going? What's going well? What's not going well? Just to let you know as well, if you do get COVID, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It sometimes feels like there isn't. Um, and I hope that you are just down with it mild. But if you haven't got it, then I hope that you continue to not have it because it's just not been very nice at all for any of us. <clears throat> not going on and into more detail about that because it's like one that behind us now. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and tell YouTube that other people might want, might be interested um, in our channel as well and just small garden updates will be coming i'm not going to try and do any lengthy videos or anything like that just chatty showing you what's going on i'll give you the varieties of the garlic the onions because i got the email off dt brown to say they've been dispatched um so once i've got those <coughs> once i've got those i'll share it with you show you what it looks like where they're going get this greenhouse cleared out give it a nice wash for winter because it is looking particularly filthy and and just see how we get on because there's a lot of TLC needed, which has been a bit of the theme of this year, hasn't it? Right, I'm out here now to get some tomatoes because I'm going to roast some with some garlic for all of those health benefits to go with my tea. And I'm hoping it's going to taste lovely, but I will not know because I can't taste or smell at the moment, but not can anybody. So it was funny, I made soup for Stephen and I was like, I'm not using my, um, my good chicken broth in this soup because you can't even taste it. <laughs> so I just put water in, is that like really mean? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys.